So maybe you're in the gym and you're noticing maybe your pull-up shifts from one side to another, a weight is a lot easier on one side versus another, or maybe your squat shifts to one side. We're gonna chat about how to address these imbalances and potentially tease out what might be happening. So the first thing is you want to figure out what is causing the imbalance. Is it potentially a mobility issue? So maybe in a squat, your hip, knee, or ankle doesn't have as much mobility as the other side. So your body's trying to get more depth by shifting over to that one side. Um, or is it more of a strength issue um, where you're shifting toward your stronger side? and shifting away from your weaker side. So that often happens a lot of times after an injury on one side, you've kind of um, adapted to compensating a little bit more on your, I guess, good side um, or non-injured side versus and shifting weight off the weaker side. So is that a specific joint that's limited? Is it a specific muscle group that's limited? And where is that coming from? So those are all things to tease out and you can test those things in isolation. So maybe looking if you, is your ankle motion equal on both sides? Is your knee motion on e um, equal size and so on and so forth, looking at all the joints that are involved. And that's just for like a squat. So if you're looking at a pull-up, um, it may be checking shoulder motion, how your shoulder blades are moving and things like that, and potentially videoing yourself doing the exercise or getting someone who's uh, trained in assessing movement can potentially help you tease these out. Another thing that you can do is look at the strength of particular muscle groups. And these can be tested in different ways. You can also do more of an isolation exercise and test to see if there's a significant difference from side to side with that isolation exercise. And then essentially you're going to do exercises to address that. Um, so if your ankle motion is limited, maybe doing some ankle mobilizations, maybe doing some stretching. Um, if your hip is limited, maybe doing some hip mobilization, hip stretching, maybe some um, isolated strengthening throughout that full range of motion as well to maintain that. Um, really any joint you can apply the same techniques. It's just going to or the exercise is just going to differ a little bit more. So if you do need like guidance, figuring out what exercises you can do to improve a particular motion at a specific joint. Um, trainers can help with that, physical therapists can help with that, et cetera, so forth, depending on your level. But essentially, once you know what's causing the imbalance, you can then address it with those targeted exercises. And then you can progress um, as well with specific strengthening. You can do more unilateral work, which is just working one side versus the other, so that stronger side can't compensate for that weaker side. You might also want to, if you're doing unilateral work, so maybe you're doing a Bulgarian split squat, for example, um, you're gonna do your weaker side first. Do as many reps as you can on that side or as many reps as like you're programmed or choose that weight that's appropriate for that side because that's gonna fatigue faster than the other side. So the stronger side, then you do second with that same weight for the same reps. And that way you're a little bit more fresh when you do that first side and you're using a weight and reps that's challenging for that side. So that's another thing that you can do. And then don't forget as well, um, once you've kind of built up a little bit more strength and you wanna progress back to the exercise that's using both sides, um, using cues like a mirror, someone videoing you, um, things like that can help you take in what you are doing with your movement because sometimes it feels even when it's not, because your brain has adapted to that being like the norm. So you can, if you have a mirror in front of you, you can see maybe a shift from side to side and you might feel like you're shifting too far to one side and it actually looks pretty symmetrical. And so that's just re-educating your brain on that movement pattern. So don't forget to progress back to working both sides, um, whether it's for a squat or a pull up or whatever exercise that you're doing. So those are just some general tidbits to help you address imbalances from side to side. If you do need any assistance, feel free to reach out. I do offer individualized um, coaching and movement screens, or I do have some prehab programs as well that might be worth checking out. I'll link that in the description below. But if you are interested in progressing your training further and you might not have access to weights, go ahead and check out this video on how to progress your exercises without adding weight.